Yo, 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 what is up, my fallopian tubers? Cesario from the Vario Hook coming back at you with another video for your butt. And man, just gonna make a quick video showing off some more vintage cards. Been in that vintage mood going through my boxes and uh, just sharing it with you guys. So I got this Topps uh, Deco Ledge right here of Brooks Robinson. You can see it's TCG. Top chewing gum. Uh, got a 55 tops of Ernie Banks. And if you notice, it looks like he's got a boogie because it's got some paper loss right there. A lot of paper loss in the back. And if you don't know, if you're not familiar with the 55, this is obviously a been cut to be the same size as a regular card. Otherwise, it'd be a lot bigger. But that doesn't bother me. I'm so happy with this card. You know what I mean? Um, you got to act your wage in the hobby. Just act your wage. Because if you envy other people's collections, it's fine to envy other people's collection. I'd rather praise their collection, you know, than envy them. But if you're not happy with your cards, then you're unhappy. But if you can learn to be happy with your cards and content, then you're happy. I don't know. Little Pepino wisdom. <laughs> Ooh, I got no wisdom. Uh, man, the 57 tops. Ted Williams. Sweet card right there. It's got um, some writing right there. JB. Who could JB be? Uh, Justin Bieber. Maybe this is from the Justin Bieber collection. <laughs> All right, uh, Sam Jethro, rookie card from 19, I believe, 50 Bowman, right? I think so, because it doesn't say the year, and I think uh, starting in 1951, Bowman started showing um, the years they were from, but the Sam Jethro rookie right there, uh, got a Hank Aaron from the Post Serial. Sweet card right there. You know what? I used to trip out, and one of the things I didn't like about grading is like these cards, you cut them out. You would cut them out from the boxes, you know, the cereal boxes and stuff. But some people will get trimmed grades. That's what just like I didn't get that, and that's one of the things that stirred me away from um, grading. A Burt Blylevin rookie. I remember when he came to the Angels when I was in high school. I said, man, Burt Blylevin is going to kill it for the angels and he and he kind of did he i mean uh he like i said he was one of those guys that i collected that i kind of pc because i kind of had a thing for players with long careers and he had a long career his baseball stats were small in the back of his card but steve garvey rookie check that out that's sick popeye we used to call him popeye because this dude has some giant forms uh we got two hostess Dave Winfield's that uh, for some reason I want to say that these were his rookies, but I'm not 100% sure on that. You know, I would have to do the El Google eyes on the thingy, on the on the computer thingy. But I used to have two different a TCMA rookie and a Dave Winfield Tops rookie, but I ended up giving it away to another YouTuber for his birthday. Uh, and these are, I believe, 1933 Gaudi Gum. Now, both of these right here, um, I had to have these because it's like the closest thing I could have to a Babe Ruth. <laughs> uh, when I was uh, working at Dodger Stadium, right before we clocked in, uh, the Dodgers team manager, he had uh, some of his collection of baseball cards, and he had the Babe Ruths like this. You know, this one, the Babe Ruth, he's like in a couple of... Uh, poses there's like different versions of this one and on this one it looks just like this red you know what i mean and so this at a quick glance to me reminds me of the babe ruth rookie because they're both left-handers you know what i mean uh he's leading with his right hand so it makes him a left-hander action right there but both of these are sweet uh we got a jack clark rookie from man, 1978 i think or is it 77 yeah, it's 77 right here. With a little, it looks like a torn up pennant. But the Jack Clark rookie, 
and Rupert Jones. Uh, and this one right here is just a badass natural card right here. Where uh, let's to see the old uh, big man from back in the days. Right here on this 53 Bowman Kala Hank Bauer. Look at that. Look at those arms. Look at those forearms. You know what I mean? Before people were really lifting weights, and I, I just get astonished by that. Astonishing. And do have this uh, matchbook from a match from the Cocktail Lounge. All right, uh, from Lefty Old Duels Cocktail Lounge. All right. So I'm gonna. Uh, this this is Boog Powell, right? From Powell Street. That's that's a badass little thingy there. And this Bob Euchre, I remember getting this at the National, and I was super, super excited to get this. I've always, I don't, I just don't remember ever coming across a Bob Euchre card because I, I don't buy online. I only buy in person or you know from friends from YouTube. But I just don't really have any recollection of coming across a Bob Euchre card before, unless it was his rookie and was just out of my price range. But this was like the first Bob Euchre card, and it was eight bucks at the National. And I was like, I want that. I, I, I mean, he was in Mr. Belvedere. He was in so many Miller Lite commercials. He missed the tag. He, missed, he was like a uh, baseball hero to me back in the day. He's practically a comedian, you know. Um, and it's 1965. Roberto Clemente. Now, the 65 year, you know, I always say, it, well, the, when people ask you, what's your favorite set? That's a loaded question. Is like, well, what do you mean? My favorite set as far as the people in it, you know, uh, design. When it comes to design, I always feel like this is my one of my all-time favorites, if not my all-time favorite, the 65, because the pennant is synonymous with baseball. Uh, 1954 Bowman. Tops. <laughs> I don't know why he said Bowman. I think I was thinking of the Mickey Mantle. It almost has the same color, right? Uh, tops, 54 Tops, um, Yogi Berra. I don't redo videos, so that's my bad. Uh, 57 Tops, Roberto Clemente. Now this card, uh, the lady was trying to sell it for 50 bucks for a long time, and it was in a card card saver thingy. And it was brought back from PSA. Re PSA rejected grading it. It came back as um, altered because they said it had a little bit of shellac on the front. And the lady was selling it for 50 bucks for a long time and nobody bought it. And she gave it to me for 20 bucks. And I was like, that's probably one of my best buys ever. 20 bucks for a 57 Roberto Clemente. Look at the shape it's in. It's sweet. Uh, post Willie Mays. Look at that cut out. Sweet. It's a badass card right there. And uh, 1956 Eddie Matthews. Now look at this card right here. This is this is all. Um, I love looking at this card because I'm one of those people who likes to try to figure out what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, in the picture and second base is over there. He's past the base. This dude from the Brooklyn Dodgers is. On his ass on the floor and the ball's over here. So it looks like he slid past the base and knocked that fool on his butt. On his little chicken butt and knocked the ball out of his glove. I mean I, I, I wish I wish I knew exactly I could go back and watch the footage of this very play. So much going on. Badass card though. You know what I mean? Um Love me some Eddie Matthews. All right, and next is the 76, uh, George Brett. I prefer this card over his rookie, and over the years I've met a lot of people who say the same thing, you know, who aren't, don't like the 75 set. So this one, you know, I love the little guy right there playing third base, you know, almost looked like he's twerking. But love this George Brett card right here. I mean, it was so much, you know, it's a trip. Um, sometimes on the drop-off between some rookies and their second-year card. 
This was a big drop off, obviously, at five bucks because the rookie card ain't ten bucks, obviously. And the last card I'm going to show, man, is the 71 from the Black Beauties, Thurman Munson. Uh, this is one of my sets I hope to start working on this year. And I bought this card right here specifically to be, um, it'll probably be my first parallel card, you know, um, on a. Uh, on the spine of, of my binder for the 71. This is such a great card, man. Look at that. That's such a badass card. Perfect. Perfect, man, in every way with the trophy on there. The action is great. You know, uh, when Tops first started doing action shots, you know, if you don't call this an action shot, I don't know what you're talking about because a lot of people consider 73 the first year that they started doing um, action shots. But that's an action shot in the 71 right there. And man, this card is just badass. Such a badass card when I got this card. You know, because 71, I always hear a lot of people say, Oh, 71 is a hard set to put together because it's so hard to find it in good shape because the edge is this and the corner is this. It's like, but for me, that's what makes it an easier, you know, set to get because. They damage so easy and they sell cheap, you know. And if you don't mind the cheapies with a little bit of wear and tear, you know, uh, it makes it easier. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to complete start on this set, man. So everybody just love a hobby. Just keep collecting baseball cards forever, I say. I love vintage, believe it or not. Ha, 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 ha.